National Weather Service has issued a coastal flood warning for parts of the Bay Area overnight. It is because of unusually high, high tides, which are also being influenced by the storm. News Channel 8's Corey Davis uh, has what you need to know tonight. People have been calling our newsroom about water suddenly flooding area streets. That's happening here in the Shore Acres community of St. Petersburg. The sign there warning drivers of the threat. Deep water covering several streets and shore acres. Extremely high tides catching many people off guard. Definitely was, was surprised. Uh, there was no rain at all. Corey Applebaum telling us it doesn't take much to flood, but with no rainstorm, he wasn't expecting to see several inches of water on his street. I moved here uh, what, two years ago uh, from South Florida, so wasn't really aware of the, of the flooding. Um, in fact, we just bought a car that, that is... is capable of, of you know, handling the high waters. but In Sarasota, the sheriff's office posting photos of a large dock that broke free in the near pass area, urging people to secure boats and remove anything that could float away from docks. The tides are also affecting communities in Hudson, shutting down streets in some areas, with the water up to houses. Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa also underwater in some areas. The effects of Hurricane Nate, hundreds of miles away, seen here in our communities. We're told the Bay Area should expect unusually high tides over the next couple of days. In St. Petersburg, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.